Hello everyone, in this video I will present you some of the most expected independent games to come. With the success of games like Can I Bridge the Spirit or Cypher recently, it is important to know that independent predictions are becoming very popular for a lot of players. If you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to like it, and at the end of it I will present you amazing independent games which are already available and you should really take a look on. Are you ready? Let's go for the first one. Dodon will be the first game that we're gonna talk about right now. From the studios Um Animation and Angelus Equa, it was planned for 2021 and it has been rescheduled for 2023 on Switch and PC. This game took its inspiration from the French region Perigord and it has been entirely created from original watercolors. As for the game itself, it is a narrative adventure where you will incarnate Mimi, a young woman who is exploring her grandma's house who just passed away. The game will follow two temporal ideas, prison and past. In the prisons, you will explore the house of Mimi's grandmother, and in the past, you will incarnate Mimi as a child, and you will explore the region while doing useful quests for the old Mimi. I am now letting you enjoy a quick look of the game itself. Next one will make you cook. Vemba from Bide Games, a studio based in Toronto. This game is a narrative cooking game where you are playing an Indian mom who emigrated to Canada in the 80s with her family. During this game, you will discover plenty of dishes and you will restore recipes. In addition to that, you will have different narrative options to explore, such as love, families, and more. The soundtrack of this game was inspired by Indian musicals. Initial plan for 2021, the relieving date of the games. I've yet to be confirmed, it is supposed to be playable on PlayStation, Xbox and PC. Next one is about something that I hate in real life, Garden Age. The Garden Pass from Carrot Cake Studios. This game is planned to be released this year on PC and Switch, and it is an adventure game. So what do you have to do in this game? You have to make your garden grow as the way you want. But the best feature in this game is the real time. Time in the garden passes alongside the real world. This world is also living and you could have neighbors with original stories for themselves. They created specific songs for days and night to make you want to stay and enjoy your journey. And with that, I am letting you now enjoying the rest of the little teaser that I've prepared for you. Let's talk about Terranil by Free Lives and Devolver Digital. It is planned to be only playable on PC. In October 2020, the original developers team announced a partnership with Free Lives to create a game with better graphics and more playable content. At the opposite of all strategic games, this one is unique, rebuilding the ecosystems. The game is inspired by rewilding and the climate crisis. In this game you will be able to turn Wasteland into ecological paradise with different flora and fauna. You will have a lot of things to do such as slowly purify the soil, introducing wildlife and more. The feature that you will love is that each region of the game has its own procedural generation palette, so even within a region, every game that you will play will be unique. I am letting you now enjoy the rest of this quick teaser. Next one, Bear and Breakfast by Gumi Cat Studios. The game is supposed to arrive this year on PC and Switch. 
It is an adventure and management simulation game where you're building and manage a BNB &B while being a bear. You can customize anything in your business and you will be in charge to attract customers and make your business grow. You also have quests to do to gain some advantages and objects for your hostel. Interesting thing about this adventure is that you will meet different characters and if you pay attention to them, they will help you developing it. It will also include some mysteries that you will have to discover and solve. But, as the world is, you will also have some people which will have bad intentions toward your business. The next one is very beautiful and sad at the same time. After Love AP by Pixelnasia. It is planned to be playable on PlayStation, Switch and PC and to arrive this year. It is a mix between dating simulation, musical game and a narrative adventure. The game takes place in Jakarta, Indonesia's capital, and you will incarnate Rama, a young musician boy who just lost his girlfriend Sinta. The young boy's friends are trying to help him to move on, and as you will explore the city playing music, you will have different available choices to make. It will create a large possibility of different story branches and also different possible endings to the game. Let's talk about Surity Sweeters by Hootaloop Games. It is planned to be playable only on PC and for now we don't have any specific date about a possible release. It is a narrative action roleplay game and it's about relationships, culture, family pleasure and self-expressions. The story is about a young woman named Jala. She has a demanding family to deal with and is she gonna be able to reconcile herself with her ex-boyfriends before her sister's wedding. And as for the gameplay, the fights will be turn-based. You will have special abilities to use and you will face different kinds of enemies. You will have a skateboard to explore the world and you will have challenges, enemies and mysteries to solve. The last feature of the game will be a cooking section when you will have to face your mom in cooking battles while trying to get your relationship with her better. And in the same time, you will discover during the game an amazing amount of South Asians received. The next one is an Xbox exclusive, which will arrive normally this year, day one, on the Game Pass, Somerville by Jamship. It is a sci-fi adventure game, and you will incarnate a father which is facing an alien invasion. You will have to find and regroup your family. From the creator himself, the main mechanic of the game will be about using the light. You will use it to move or transform alien rocks. During your journey, it will have different forms, so as the lights, which will be able to transform the rocks or to make it disappear. But, without the light, you will not be able to move on in the story, making it something vital for your experience. The main story is about 4 to 6 hours to complete. And now, I'm letting you enjoy the rest of the teaser. Another Xbox exclusive NPC, Planet of Lana by Wishfully. Initially planned for 2022, it has been rescheduled for 2023. It is an adventure, platformer and puzzle video game. In this one, you will incarnate a young girl and her companion in a rescue mission in a world full of machines and other creators. Here are the key features of this game. Your companion will have a unique gameplay. There will be a lot of situations where you will have to navigate using stealth and wit. A lot of action sequences will require reflexes from yourself. And finally, exploration and solving puzzles of this mysterious world. Enjoy the rest of the teaser.
The next one looks hilarious. Cult of the Lamb by Massive Monster, planned for 2022 in PlayStation 4, 5, Xbox One, Xbox Series, and PC. It is a management game with a bit of a dungeon crawler. You are a lamb in charge of a cult and to expand it. You are starting in regions with false prophets and your goal is to make your own the only true cult. You will have to gather resources, build structures, doing dark rituals to your gods, and you will have to give sermons to reinforce the faith of your troops. And with that, you will have to face the world itself, which will randomly generate hordes of enemies. You will have to explore and defeat all the other leaders from other cults to absorb more power and assure your dominance. Now enjoy a quick teaser about this crazy game. Minico's Night Market by Miuda Games, planned for 2022 on Switch and Mac. Minico's Night Market is a game that celebrates Japanese culture while introducing a story about friendships, tradition, and many cats. You will play Minico, a young girl who just arrived in her new home, a strange village, at the base of Mount Fugu. You will have to solve the mysteries around this village and to bring it back to its former glory while doing your daily activities such as crafting items, complete jobs in preparation for the night market. During night market, you will have large selections of minigames, such as cat race, themed parades, and storage performance. Puzzles to solve, sneak into lock areas while wearing different disguises, a lot of craft to do with minigames, making friends with people to be able to sell everything you're crafting, a lot of exploration in a living world, with the four seasons to experience. And the most important thing about this game, a lot of cats with you. Announced during the 2020 Game Awards for PC and PS5, let's take a look to Season from Scavenger Studio. We don't have a lot of information, except that this game is an adventure game with a third person view. You will incarnate a young woman which is exploring the world for the first time with bike. The main goal of this game is to capture and records moments of different culture before their disparations due to a cataclysmic event. In this game, you are not here to stop this, but you have to capture everything you can before it happens. You will have to witness those changes and you will have to try to understand what will be lost until it will. Interesting things to say is that the artistic direction of this game is inspired by whole Japanese woodblock printing methods as well as poster illustrators from the mid 20th century. Like I said during the intro, I'm now going to present you amazing independent games which are already available. The first one is Score Chart, developed by Neryul and is playable on PC and Switch. This game is taking place in the 18th century in France. In this one, you will have to master deceptions using card marking, false shuffles, deck switching, false deals and more. But you will have to be very careful because you might get caught. Starting to the bottom of the society, you will climb it until you reach the king's table. The second one is Tunic by Anush Lies and Tunic Teams, playable on PC and Xbox series. You will have to explore a land filled with lost legends, ancient powers and ferocious monsters. Tunic is an isometric action game. This little game is a mix between Zelda and Dark Souls, so if you like butterflies and get smashed by random snails, you will be happy. You will have to fight bosses, gather some relics and treasures, and you will have to solve puzzles and more. Take a look at this beautiful game. The next one is Book of Travels by Might and Delight AB, and it's only playable on PC. It is a role-play game where you will have to create your own character with a unique personality. 
the focus on this game is exploration and ambience, you can explore the open land however you choose. There are some fights too and you can approach this feature in different ways. It is an invitation to roleplay and this game is very interesting for that. You can play alone all with people you will find in your way. The limit of layers by servers are summon, which will allow you to create tiny but still interesting interactions. If you love roleplay games, I'm letting you enjoy this quick teaser of the game. Let's go into the abyss with Sealed by Spiral Circus Games. Released this month on PC, Xbox Series, PS5 and Switch, it is a surreal underwater puzzle adventure game and it's all about exploration. You will be able to possess the creatures from the abyss to help you solving puzzles and mysteries around you. The artistic direction of the game will make you see strange monsters with bizarre forms as you will go deeper in the abyss. Each one of the creatures will have specific abilities to help you in this environment. And in addition to all of those things, the game will be entirely in black and white. The last game that I'm gonna present you now is my favorite independent games so far this year. It is Trek to Yumi, a side-scrolling action game developed by Flying Wild Hog and published by Devolver Digital. The game was released for PC, PlayStation 4, 5, Xbox One and Xbox Series in May 2022. The story is based in Japan and set in the Edo period. The game follows a young warrior named Hiroki who goes on a journey to confront the people responsible for the destruction of his village. The game is in full black and white and it is very violent, you will have a lot of blood, decapitations and everything. I highly recommend you to play it and if you want to see how the gameplay looks like, I've made some clips on my channel, you just have to click on the link right here. And that's a wrap for today guys, this video is now over. I will let you enjoy the clips that I have made on Twitch. If you want to see me, it's on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Friday. You have the schedule on the description. You can find me also on my social media. Everything is on the description too. I will see you in the next video and in the meantime, take care of you all. Thanks for watching and bye bye.